what is up you guys welcome to your 10th tutorial of programming in C and in this tutorial as I said I'll be talking about do while loops so in order to get started let's declare a variable called I I'll uh, initialize it to 1 and uh, now to use do while loops I'll write do and I'll come to the next line I'll open and close my curly braces now between these brackets of course is going to be my code which will repeat but in uh, do while loops we come out of the uh, these brackets and we write while it it's uh, the syntax of it we open and close our parentheses and remember guys this is the only loop in C programming which ends with a semicolon alright now between these brackets we write a condition so I will start from 1 till uh, I guess I less than 8 this time uh, I'll also put equal to so that it runs 8 times and not 7 times so let's get inside this uh, tab because we are indenting stuff to look neater and uh, here we write the code which we want to repeat okay so let's make our printf statement this time I'll just print out hi because I haven't said hi to you guys in a while <laughs> okay now we increment it of course I plus plus to increase the I by one so it will start from here I is equals to one so do and uh, it will check the condition so one is less than eight yeah it will run so it while running the code it will print high it will go to the new line it will increase I by one so I will be two now now it will check the condition so two is less than or equal to eight run the loop three run the loop four run the loop five run the loop six run the loop seven run the loop eight run the loop now it will run eight times as you know you already know you guys you are pretty smart let's run and see what happens hi 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 eight times oh my god works pretty good um, the one little different I was talking about um, in this loop uh, is that even if the initial condition is false this will run the loop at least one time pretty confusing huh? let me show you now if I initialize this I to say uh, 9 now uh, even uh, before starting the loop it will say okay I is equals to 9 so it will check the condition is 9 less than or equal to 8 no of course no so it has to stop the loop loop but uh, no it actually runs the loop at least one times this is not the case in for and while loops uh, for and while loop will uh, stop even if uh, the initial condition is false so let's let's run and see at least if we get one time or no yeah we are getting this so this is pretty much it this is our do while loop um, maybe uh, in the next tutorials I'll be talking about nested for loops or something so till then thanks for watching and we meet in the next video